Hello my fellow blue screener enthusiast, I'm Mr. Church and today we're going to be making this rundown cabin in the woods. We're going to try to make this look as shitty as possible. It's got a bay window out front, so before we begin any of this, let's hop over to a workshop and I'll show you how to make a blueprint for the bay window. Making a blueprint is essential because it will allow us to put this down exactly the same size, exactly centered, without fucking around with foundations underneath, and it will allow us to create a foundation that is in the shape that we so strongly desire. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make this uh, foundation be half a foundation over to the side, and we're going to use this half op upper floor stair trick to space it exactly half a foundation while keeping it square to what we're doing and then you just get rid of this stuff see this allows us to line it up because the snapping really doesn't help in this case I'm gonna move this over so we're not worrying about that sign over there because that's in the way and so we have this uh, three that's offset by two I just am going to bring this out this way get rid of this and now we have a shape that looks nothing like a penis right here over in this direction we're going to add a wall first we're going to sit here and look at that for 10 minutes for no reason I guess let's look at it again and then um, I'm just gonna move this back here and that's just to get it out of the way for now and I'm going to store this so that we have these two and then this one over here now I'm gonna grab a wall and I'm gonna put it down right there and that's mostly just so I can see the corner of that foundation back there a little better and now we're gonna this is why it's annoying you're gonna have to try to line this corner here up with this corner uh, so that when you look at it, it, it's exactly in a line and you want this corner to be touching over here. So this takes some jiggling around and it takes like, I'm gonna say about four years to do. So maybe by the time you finish making this blueprint, the game will work as smoothly as you want it to and they'll have patched out all the bugs. So. I'm going to speed up me jiggling this around because as painful as it is to do, it's even more painful to watch someone else do. It's, it's infuriating. It will make you want to pull your own fingernails out with a rusty ice pick that has 40% fast, faster swing speed. So do it on the other side. Take about 10 years to do that as well. and. Just line it up with this corner, there will be a gap on the other end, and we'll worry about that later. I'm just going to lower these ever so slightly so that these ones, I'm making sure these ones are lower than the one in the middle, just by like a hair. Okay, and now we have this shape here. Now, I'm going to take this piece back here, uh, I guess I'm going to store it apparently. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our walls down here and here and we want these walls to be facing inward so that we can do the snapping method that I first saw in a video by Bloody Mess but uh, I'm not sure who came up with it first I think he did I don't know um, now I'm gonna move this here so that I can flip these walls around and you saw that I put the other foundation back there that's so I can kind of hold the spot so when I put this back here it's exactly lined up exactly where it was before and now we want to move it forward so that it's flush with that so we're gonna store this so that we can slide this forward and we don't have to slide it back and forth at all we just slide it forward eyeball it as best you can move it in snap it down and then come over and check to make sure that it's close because you want it to be touching so there's no gaps in the walls so like that and then when we put our floor down over here we'll be able to see if it's crooked at all it is a bit crooked so store store that and then just I'm gonna just gonna rotate it slightly 
move it in a little bit and then try again and that looks a lot better so it's completely touching that's what you want and now we're going to put foundation pieces on the outside of this shape uh, snapped to the outer edges so that we can continue the wall pattern on these sides. Now we don't actually need walls here and here for the foundation. This will just allow uh, the foundation to blueprint and flip the foundation pieces inward. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll see in a couple of seconds here, but basically what happens is these, these uh, foundations are all independently floating and they're not, if you look, the walls is actually yeah, so go ahead and blueprint everything, but the wall is actually hanging over the edge and not attached to anything. So when you go and blueprint it, and then you slap down this whole structure, the independently floating foundations will flip inward so that they're snapped to the walls. Instead of flipping the walls, it'll flip the foundations so that they're snapping and not free floating. So I'm going to name this the bay window, uh, and you can't see what I'm typing for some reason on PS4 when I'm making uh, blueprints. Now, go into blueprints, find your bay window, there it is. It's 10 miles away, so hold your action button and pull forward with your joystick till it comes close enough so that you can actually build it in this state or county. Now, as you can see, when you snap it down, it'll automatically flip those foundations, and now you have a perfectly f uh, two block wide bay window shaped foundation and you can actually remove the, the walls and build whatever you want with it and you can attach it to any structure uh, now that you have uh, blueprinted. So we're gonna go up into the woods and build ourselves a cabin. We're gonna put the bay window down first since it has these flabby foundation bits hanging off the side and then just go ahead and get rid of these because they're barn walls. Barn walls are puke and I'll go I'll get into that at a later date. We don't have quite enough time and now I'm just gonna start uh, f in a frenzied manner placing down uh, a bunch of uh, flooring and I did end up changing this out but I like building with this one so that I can line it up easier now funny thing about the uh, bay window is if you put a wall down on the bay window first, like this, you won't be able to put an upper floor hanging over it if that's your overall design. You will need to put the upper floor hanging over it and then put the walls in. It's just a funny thing how it works. So as I'm putting these walls down you may notice that I am mixing and matching all different types of walls. When I say all, I mean specifically all the wall types except for the barn wall set. And that is because the barn wall set is puke, and it's also, hold on, I'm going to go ahead and put the upper floor on first so that I can do the walls. So I'm just going to put this down like so, pull this in, and of course this is your typical absolute fun fest of trying to get these to go down without rolling around in the, in the muck and the slime. Anyway, will I completely obliterate every last intelligence point you have under your special? Let me just say, I did try to put this video out a lot sooner, but Faschnacht Day is upon us, which of course Faschnacht is German for uh, Bethesda doesn't have any server, uh, server stability, and you will not be able to therefore play any of their games as long as more than four people are online at a time. And that's not good, because if you really want to play, you, you can't. I spent more time in load screens this past week than playing the game. And, uh, so if you work at Bethesda, um, I would say, uh, you know, community service announcement type message, uh, uh, the, in terms of your game, uh, like working, right now, it, it doesn't. So it help. Because um, we want to play, we just can't. So that could be something worth looking into, maybe. You know, that's just a suggestion. I do with that as you wish. Um, but in the meantime, I've got to uh, 
I've got to say. Fockknock or whatever. Great, great event. So many people and so many rubber bands are playing this this year, and it's really, really fun to see uh, the, the the community uh, coming together and spinning together for hours on end. We haven't had this much fun since another settlement needs our help, you know? So now I'm going to put a little fireplace in the corner here. To do that, I'm going to put it here with a roof off. I'm going to take my handy little Bernie blade bit, I'm going to burn the shit out of the fireplace, which is complete irony that this fire is destroying the fireplace. And now I'm going to fix this wall that I accidentally destroyed, put the roof back on, now I can fix this, and now it's mushed through the roof, which allows us to have a chimney and a fireplace and be warm and cozy and happy until the fire gets too hot and blows up the fireplace, which obviously we just proved works, happens, things like that. Now, uh... As far as the old uh, patchwork quilt design I'm going with, I want this to look uh, like a shitty rundown cabin that has had many renovations. There's newer wood, there's older wood, uh, there's Todd's wood, and we want this to look like we've just tried to fix what we can with what we have. So I'm trying to blend textures. You may see in later footages that there's walls in different spots than originally. I'm just moving them around till I see uh, where I want them to be the best. Now I'm putting this down here. I will have to say, if you want this front porch, you have to put it on after you have the overhanging upper floor, or it, you will not be able to put that upper floor over top of the porch because it intersects. I'm going to put one of these defense walls in here as well to kind of change up the patterns even more. Make it look even more boarded up. Uh, once I can get this straight and lined up. Back to uh, Fuck Knuckle. Um, I'm really enjoying this year's event. I really am. All seven times that I was able to complete the event before disconnecting, I was able to get a wide variety of sun masks, which will really uh, uh, definitely just upgrade my storage capacity in my stash box. So every time you have Fosh Knuckle, you should probably add another 100 or 200 pounds to the storage just so we can put all our sun masks in there. Otherwise, what are we going to do with them? It's not like we can scrap them. We can only scrap the beret uh, for no reason. That one can scrap, but no other ones can. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you for that. Uh, now I'm going to add this greenhouse out back. Just remember that I was building this base instead of ranting about my own problems. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to show you a little fun trick if you plant some food in these farmable tiles or even on the dirt itself you can then take a uh, bathtub which I know you guys have never seen before this thing is what you wash your body with and you put it down and the uh, it looks like a planter it's fun it's nice and here's another cute fact let's look at it a little bit yeah that's good um, and uh, Oh yeah, let's board up these windows. Did you, did, are you on the edge of your chair yet for the cute fun fact? Because I'm just ready to show you once this is done. Now if you try to put something on these porches while you have anything over the porch, it'll pop up through the floor. See, it's gone. It's upstairs. Uh, that's stupid. That's just absolute stupid. Now you can use the carpet blueprint trick which I've shown in other videos. Or you can take this whole thing out, which for some reason lets you with all the railings and stairs and still there. And once you remember what side of the porch is what, because I forgot for 25 minutes, you can just build what you want out here. And then you can just move the whole goddamn thing back to where it was. Uh, and this, of course, is assuming that you don't disconnect or lag out or blue screen. Um, any of those things are a possibility, and let's not jump to conclusions about what's going to happen to ourselves. I mean, the, the world is a mysterious place full of lots of surprises. Blue screening, however, is not one of those things. 
That's never a surprise, is it? Now, uh, I just want to, as well, say that if I sound a little salty about Fuck Knock, I'm not. That's definitely my favorite event in the game. Period. That's it. That's all I have to say. So good. Like, I mean, it's so fun because you first you run around looking for robots, and then you get the beeswax, and then you scrap the beeswax for acid because that's more valuable than getting a sun mask. And then you donate all of your wood, which you could have been using to build a base with. Oh, by the way, uh, you can't put these upper defense walls, or you can't put these defense walls snapped to upper floors anymore. Just, you know, because why not? Why should we have fun? So you can if you put a powered door underneath it. So any door that has the ability to power it up, put it underneath there, and you'll be able to, to do that build it up there for no reason. Um, this is just brought to you by the Bethesda Physics Academy, helping us all achieve greatness in our camp builds. Now I can't put this here because I flipped the stairs so that I could build a wall down, so I'm going to flip the stairs back, and then I'm going to put this down, and then I'm going to just get rid of that. There, easy peasy. We definitely should have done that sooner. Now here is the classic stacking garbage on a on a shelf trick. Uh, you're basically going to put a conduit down with a with a carpet on top and then stack shit. And then you can you can slide it in to the shelf. You you need to use these little carpets. The the big gray ones are too fat and they intersect with the shelving, but then you just stack a variety of tr of trash and then you move the bottom carpet and everything goes in and it's basically the most fun thing to do if you have like 25 minutes to spare now I'm going to build this thing outside you don't need to do this in fact I strongly don't recommend it anytime I use these windmills I think wow these are going to increase the overall look of my build so much and then uh, I spend about seven years trying to get them to do what I want. Their hitbox is just all fucked up. It's so stupid. There's got like metal bits sticking off this way and that way and the other way and uh, breaking it doesn't help. Breaking it makes the hitbox worse. Uh, so I ended up having a couple of backwards walls just because of the inside facing walls didn't fit. But there it is. Uh, if you attach a wire and bring it out while the wall is still a doorway you can put the conduit where you want it and then you can just switch that doorway back to a wall and it will not break the wire and we will have power which is important if we're trying to listen to uh, the, the TV that doesn't work I guess now here's the finished product I spent a lot of load screens uh, decorating this which is really fun um, and absolute a treat. I got the new ally too, and it looks like she's ready for me to come in and get some thing to eat for dinner. So let's head on in and see if we can find some food for our rumbly rumbly tummy. Before I do that, I uh, just want to give you a little look around of that, of that chimney coming through there. It's pretty cool in my humble opinion, which is very humble indeed. Uh, looks like we got a dead fly on the porch. That's very appetizing. Mm, I'm ready to eat now. Let's go on inside. Um, just shut that. And uh, we'll just... Holy shit. Why are you there? Uh, thank you. Uh, and another question. Where the fuck did you go? What the fuck? Okay, um, I don't know where she is now. This is kind of scary. Is she outside? Where the, what the fuck did she, where the fuck did she go? This is actually creepy. Are you, what the fuck? What are you doing? I'm definitely, no, I don't want to talk to you. No, 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 I'm trying to shut the door so you stay out there. And now I need to lock this so she didn't fucking come back in. I need a big, big lock. 
Ah, what the fuck? Why are you there? She came through the... Oh, fuck, I can't fit out the window. If you need to jump away from the ghosts, you can't jump outside the window. I'm gonna vaporize you with this Ghostbuster... Wait, that actually worked? Okay, um... I guess Ghostbusters is the next... Where the... What the fuck? Why are you teleporting around like a fucking creep? That's disgusting. I don't care how good the nasty blowfly meat you make is. This isn't worth it. Get out of my house. Now. I guess I'll show you the build. Now that I know I'm haunted. So I wanted it to look like an abandoned hunting cabin. We have all this, this hideous floor thing. And then we got this you know, donated furniture look, you know, uh, the garbagey kitchen, the garbagey sitting area with a couch that's probably 400 years old. And up here I wanted a cluttery attic feel as well as a workshop feel. So we've got a pile of shit, uh, those, those shelves we made earlier, and all of our crafting benches as well as a bunk bed for uh, me and Yasmin to uh, you know, just get some well rested together. Uh, and back here we have, I put a, another of those, and also that pot in the back you can do the same exact thing with. And, uh, yeah, cluttered it up, put some ugly ass plants in there, and the, the greenhouse is completed. And you will notice I put the greenhouse and the living area on a different foundation than the normal one, and I wanted that to look like there was the original footprint of the building and then the greenhouse was an addition that was added on using remaining pieces so they're not going to have a nicely poured f uh, foundation with concrete they're just going to have crap but there you have it this is a uh, been a crappy build from from your crappiest uh, youtuber uh, i hope you enjoy getting disconnected out there in the wasteland and i will maybe even see you in the next video Take care, subscribe, like, and hate me in the comments section.